Today, I was taking the coziest nap in the Walmart parking lot, and then this happens. Huh? Give me all your holy day. I was like, uh-uh, not today. <laughs> that was a close one. Thank you so much, Pushy. I was so proud of my little Push Pop weapon for saving me. I wanted to reward him. So I told him, I'll take you inside Walmart to buy you a Halloween costume. Pushy was so excited, but he said he was a little nervous because he's never gotten Halloween costume shopping before. I said, it's okay. Let's just try on some costumes. The first thing that we tried on was this mask. Pushy said that he liked it so much that he said he didn't want to try on anything else. This was the costume he wanted. I said, Pushy, don't forget your trick-or-treat bag. He really wanted to go trick-or-treating right now. I was like, we can't go right now. Halloween's done for another 18 days. He was like, oh, okay, I'll wait. And then we drove happily home. Today, how you can stay lucky on Friday the 13th. Step one, go find some wood to knock on. Perfect. Step two, go find a four-leaf clover in your front yard. This will help with the best of luck. Make sure it's four leaves. One, two, three, four. Yes, happy St. Pat. Step 764, always look at the new moon over your right shoulder. Step seven, always walk in the rain. It helps wash off the bad luck. Step nine, always sleep facing south, not the north, the south. And that is how you properly stay lucky on Friday the 13th. How you so today when I got my test back from Mrs. Puff, I saw that I got the worst grade ever. It was an F plus. I was like, what? I was like, I can't do this anymore. So I ran. I ran all the way to my local advanced auto part. I realized you are what you eat. So I picked up some smart food. And then I went and got some smart water chug jugs. But I knew it was going to take way more than that. So I went to the produce section and found the only thing that got me through kindergarten. Them dum-dums looked at me. I was like, uh-uh, I am not falling for you. So then after that, I ran all the way home and I started to cook up the smartest of all soups. I gently made together all of the ingredients and in this moment i started to feel super smart even before i consumed it but once i bit it oh my gosh all the smart juices started flowing to my brain it was just mm, good soup so the next day i walked into class and was a little bit nervous but i wasn't nervous at all because when i got my test back oh my goodness i got an a plus 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 minus plus and i was like yes it worked i do like today so today Okay, sweeties, I got you two some drinks. Thanks, Mom. I'm starving. Yay, thanks, Mom. Ooh, Prime. I love Prime. Here you go. <laughs> really Gatorade? So not fair. Give me that. I'm not giving this up. It's my Prime. Mom, she's trying to take my Prime. Why wouldn't you buy both Prime? Guys, stop fighting over the Prime ribs, okay? I just grabbed the first thing I saw. It's just a drink. I really want the Prime, but how am I supposed to get it? Ooh, I know. I'll use reverse psychology on her. This Gatorade looks so good. Well, mine's still Anyway, no, mine's actually way better because if I drink this, the ghost won't attack me. But when you drink that glowberry, you're gonna actually glow in the dark and the ghost will see you and it will attack you. No, it won't. It's legitimately true. Like I saw it on Ghost Adventures, like they proved it. I don't want this anymore. I don't like the ghost. I guess I could trade you my Gatorade for your prime because I don't really mind the ghost. I don't want the ghost to eat me. Here. Don't worry, I'll tell the ghost that you said hi. <sighs> Gets her every prime. Okay, sweeties. To change a bad day to a good day. Step one, go to your local forest and find a cupcake bush. Step 347, find a cupcake on the bush. Ugh. <gasps> this one is super ripe and you can eat it right away, but you can't. Step five, you have to wash it. Pay attention because this is the most important part. You have to wash your cupcake before consuming it. You never want to eat a cupcake right off the bush. There's tons of bugs on it. It's crawling with bugs. Step 33, you have to dry your cupcake. Dry your cakes. Step seven, gently drink your cupcake. But don't drink the whole thing. You have to save a sprink to plant. So you can make a whole cupcake forest. Step negative three, plant your sprink. Take your shovel and dig a hole. Don't forget to water it. Yay! to change a bad day to a good day step one go to your local forest and find a cupcake bush step 347 find a cupcake on the bush uh, oh mom look it's a pumpkin patch can we go get a pumpkin okay let's go yo is that a watermelon patch oh no they're just pumpkins 50 dollars for a pumpkin hmm oh i know exactly what i should do oh i know how to grow some pumpkins this will work this will do oh yeah this is a great pumpkin time to make this pumpkin bread how to get rich quick Let's get it. Rarest of all pumpkins. What should I name it? Oh, I know. Creepy's Pumpkin Patch. Perfect. Hmm, now how do I get mom in here? Seasoning, screening, sale. Merry Halloween. Let me hang up the sign. Time to make a lot of money. 
Yo, is that a watermelon patch? Ooh, mom, look, it's a pumpkin patch. Can we go get a pumpkin? Okay, let's go take a look. Uh, actually, mom, I I'm good, mom. I, I don't really want a pumpkin. Sweetie, don't judge a cover by its book, okay? Mom, I wouldn't trust this pumpkin patch. He didn't even spell pumpkin right. This guy looks like a creep. We gotta get out of here. How are you ladies doing today? We're Splenda. I just want to let you ladies know that we're actually having a huge seasoning greeting sale. Were these locally grown? Uh, they are, uh... Yeah, they're locally grown. Oh, how sweet. We have a wide variety of pumpkins here. Just take a look. Right over here, we have the world's largest pumpkin. It's a million dollars, but I'll give it to you for 1000 Wow, $1,000? That's crazy. Will you take five? Uh, okay, yeah, deal. I'll take $3. Thank you. Here, sweetie, here's your pumpkin. Mm. Uh, uh, be grateful. Dang it! I don't like today! Merry Halloween, folks! Oh, yeah. Let's get it! Yo, is Sweetie, what would you like for lunch today? I'm gonna pack it for you. Mom, I already packed my lunch! Oh, you did? Well, what'd you pack? Uh, just some nutritionals. Let me see it. Look, 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 Mom, I have a sandwich. There better be some proteins on here. What is this? You can't eat this for lunch. It's going to break your teeth. It's fine. There's gummy bears on there. Those are soft. No, no, no. No, no. I'm gonna make you a new lunch. You can't eat this sandwich. Let me pack you some crock loaf. Oh, no, Mom. I don't want crock loaf again. Oh, perfect. We have some right here. <gasps> My goodness. Did you just break your teeth? Hold on, sweetie. Let me get the emergency teeth breaking kit. Hold still. Sweetie, what would you... All right, girlies, I'm gonna go inside the pumpkin patch and get you some pumpkin. Okay, mom, make sure you get a big one for me. I want a super big pink one, please. Ah, no, sweeties. I'm getting you both the same sizes, okay? I gotta find the ones that are the same size so they don't fight. Oh, perfect. This one looks great. I'll get this one. Oh, my goodness. And this one is on sale, and it's the same size. This will be perfect. Sweeties, I found you guys the most perfect pumpkin. This one's for you. Thanks, mom. And this one's for you. Really, mom? You got me the pumpkin with pimples? What are you talking about? About. There's nothing wrong with your pumpkin. They're both the same size, no fighting. Oh, uh, it's not pink, but <laughs> at least mine's better than yours. It literally has so much acne. Why does she get the better pumpkin? I, I, I don't want to hear it. If you don't want that pumpkin, you're not carving any pumpkins until Christmas. Dang it. I don't like today. It just needs a little bit of proactive. I have some at the house that you can put on and it should go right away. That's not going to work, mom. It's a pumpkin. I have the perfect pumpkin. Hee <laughs> hee. Mom, what are you doing right now? I'm trying out the pillow, sweetie, to see if it's okay for the couch. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh, we gotta get out of here. Do you know that person? Shh, Mom, that's Pearl. Why don't you go say hi? Yes, she's my friend, but like, just on Instagram. Well, if you follow her on Instagram, why don't you say hi? We like each other's posts. We don't know each other in real life. That, that is just so weird. Your generation is so weird. Why would you follow her on Instagram if you don't say hi to her in real life? I don't know. It's just like that, Mom. It's just like that, okay? We gotta get out of here. Why is that girl looking at me? Wait, I think I know her. Oh, I follow her on Instagram. Wait, should I say hi or should I not say hi? Yeah, maybe I shouldn't say hi. I didn't like her last picture. No, I'm not going to say hi. Kids these days, that is so strange to me. Oh yeah, I love my new lawnmower. All right, we got to go. All right, we got to go inside Home Depot to get some bread. Okay, mom, let's go. Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? <gasps> my goodness, sweetie, I forgot my keys in the car. We have to go back and we have to lock it. No, mom, it's fine. You don't need to go back out there. We're only going to be in the store for like 10 minutes, right? We have to go. What if someone steals something? No one's going to steal anything. No, let's just like be quick in here and then we can go. Hopefully no one takes anything. Just trust me, mom. Just trust me. I'm trusting you on this. Really wish I had a ride right now. Yo, this is a really nice lawnmower. <gasps> no way, it's open and they left the keys in it? This is awesome. I've never seen a car attached to an iPad. This is great. Oh, yeah. Two hours later. I really hope nobody stole anything from our car, sweetie. Mom, everything's going to be there. That stuff doesn't even happen in real life. That only happens on the local news. Great. Somebody stole our car. Now we have to go find it. Uh-oh. I knew this was going to happen. Now that's rare, Mom. All right, we got to go. Oh, yeah. I love my new lawnmower. Let's see how the radio is. Oh my goodness, mom. I see it right there. That's your car. Oh my gosh. How are we going to get it? Oh, oh, I know, mom. I know exactly how to stop the car. I push my weapon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send it and it's going to pop his tire and then we can get the car back. Sweetie, that's not going to do anything. It's a piece of candy. Right. Man, what's that sound? Why is my car breaking down? Must be getting a flat. <gasps> Yay, mom. It worked. What are these ladies doing? Why'd you steal my mom's car? 
Man. So, uh, mom, do you think I could actually get a ride? Mm, of course you can. Really, mom? You're gonna give him a ride? He literally just stole our car, mom. As long as you blow our tire back up, you can ride with us. Okay, bet. Yeah, I can blow it up. Another day on the job. <gasps> Sup, guys? Mom, do you think we could stop at McDonald's? I'm kind of craving a Happy Meal. She doesn't even stop there for me. Plus, she's not even your mom. Yeah, so I'll stop so you can get a Happy Meal. Thanks, mom. Oh, yeah. All right, we... No, sweetie. You can't get all that candy. Go put it back. Why not, mom? This candy's so good. No, no, no. No, no. Too expensive. Inflation. Dang it! I really want mom to buy me this candy, but she's not gonna buy it. Hmm. How can I get her to buy it? <gasps> oh, I have the best idea. I'll just tell mom that I absolutely need this candy for school because Mrs. Puff told me and that it's for extra credit and the more candy I get, the better grades I'll have. What did I say? Go put all this candy back. I'm not buying it. No, mom, we have to get this candy. Mrs. Pop said we have to get a ton of candy for extra credit. Oh, is that so? Yeah, you do have an E in all your classes. Yeah, it'll raise all my grades. My goodness. You know what, sweetie? We better get all the candy that we can find so you can raise your grades. Yes, mom, exactly. That's the spirit. going from an E to a triple A. Oh no, my stomach's heating up. It must be from that Bell Taco the other day that mom fed me. I really have to fart right now, but that's super illegal because there's someone else in the hallway. Ooh, I know, I'll just pick something up in this aisle and I'll drop it so it covers up my fart and they'll never know it's me. Oh no, I did not time that right. Did you just poop on yourself? Uh, no. I'm pretty sure you just pooped on yourself. I did not poop on myself. I, that wasn't me. I didn't poop on myself. Somebody pooped on themselves in this aisle. I taste something really bad. Taste? There's something, yeah. Some weird flavors in there right now. Oh my gosh, it does smell really bad. What do I do? You gonna do anything about that? Uh, uh, oh my gosh, the air in this aisle is so toxic. I gotta get out of here. I should have never showed up to school today. I don't know why she ran away. I kind of like farts. <laughs> really wonder how many people have showered in the shower since it's a public shower i just want to know how many people have stood here and showered <gasps> oh my gosh what about this here's a real question how many people have peed in the shower probably like 2703 people actually no 2704 people because i just peed he <laughs> he oop i love these little soaps they're so cute let it in let it do let it down ow ow my eye oh my gosh i got soap in my eye it's stinging ow stupid little soap ow ow oh my gosh it's on fire my eyeball it's on fire! Oof, that was a close one. Those soaps are really cute, but my eyeball almost blew up. All right, let's try off. Ooh, maybe I should use two towels. Oh, yeah, I'm using two towels because I'm at the hotel and I don't got to do laundry. Dang it! I just got water over the floor. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Mom's not going to yell at me because Mom's not here. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to take another towel. Hee <laughs> hee. I love hotels. I... So today, I could not stop biting my nails. So I was like, I really need to go to the nail salon and get these done. But I'm super embarrassed by my nails, and I don't want the nail tech to know who I am. And I was like, ooh, I have the best idea. I ran all the way to Target and got a costume. If I wear this costume to the nail salon, the nail salon person will never know who I am, and it won't be as embarrassing. Before I walked in the salon, though, I was like, hmm, is this going to work? And I was like, oh, yeah, it's totally going to work. I'm totally going to blend in. When I got there and I sat down, the nail tech was super confused. The first thing he said to me, he was like, I haven't done any tacos nails all years. This is the first one. So then I asked him, I was like, when do tacos usually get their nails done? Uh, probably next week starting, I think. And then I was like, well, I guess I'm the first one. Early worm gets the bird. In this moment, I was like, okay, bet. He actually thinks I'm a taco. This is going great. The costume's working. He's never going to know who I am. But then I was like, what color do I get? Because what color do tacos usually get? I do not want to ruin my identity. So I ended up choosing orange. When I walked out of the nail salon, I felt super satisfactory because I was like, oh yeah, I just got away with it. So if you ever want to go anywhere, but you don't want anybody to know who you are, just be a taco. So today... Oh no, mom, this bow dingle's getting my stomach flaring up. Then stop eating the food. Why are you still eating it? I can't stop eating it. It's so good. Ah, you're gonna make your stomach worse. Uh oh, I think I'm having an explosive diarrhea. We gotta pull over. Ah, no, sweetie. We'll be home in two days and you can go then. You're just gonna have to hold it. I really can't hold it, mom. Oh no, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Ooh. I'm literally so desperate right now. I'm just gonna have to go in the cup. Oh no, it's liquid. Oh my gosh, what is that smell in here? I don't know what that smell is. Uh, oh, it must be the water coming from outside. You know how the water stinks sometimes? Oh yeah, you're right. We are going through the Sahara Desert right now. That makes sense. My mouth is so dry. Oh, I didn't know we had chocolate milk in here. Uh, Mom, I, I, I wouldn't drink that. Mmm, 
This is amazing. You want some, sweetie? No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I don't want it. Oh, great. More for me. This is not good. Oh, no. We're pulling up to Box Star. What do you want? <gasps> Mom, can you give me the pumpkin spicy latte? Let me see. My goodness. It's $12.60 just for a drink. Ah, no, sweetie. Too expensive. Inflation. Mom, everybody's getting that right now. It's October 1st. Please. I'm not buying that drink. It's way too expensive. It's not even that inflated. I can make you one at home. I know exactly how to make it for you. Yes, I'll take one large water, please. Oh, Mom, don't say large. It's venti. Thank you, sir. All right, sweetie, do you have the Starbucks water cup? Yes, Mom, I have it right here. Now, what I want you to do is go up in the attic and get the pumpkin from last year. Okay. Oh, I hope a ghost doesn't eat me. Thank you. Perfect. One spicy pumpkin latte coming right up. Mmm, just like Starbucks. Here you go. Ugh. Ew. You better drink it. It's the same thing. Dang it. I don't like today. We're pulling. So today I was canoeing alone in Canada and then my stomach rumbled and I got super hungry. And then I was like, oh wait, where am I? I don't even know where I'm at right now. Let me check the map. And then I checked the map and I realized that my phone died. I was super lost and stranded. And then in the distance, I saw a tiny little coconut island. I was like, yep, if I go there, I can definitely get some food. So then I parked the car and I gently got out. Once I stepped on the island, I felt super safe because everybody knows that you can survive on a small little island. But then I realized that there was no coconuts on the island because the monkeys must have probably ate them. I was extremely extremely devastations but then i saw something better a christmas tree santa claus leaves presents underneath a christmas tree year round but most people think that he doesn't they just think he comes once a year but he doesn't and then i signed the best present it was a yummy little snack thank you so much santa claus for leaving me this gift i must have been so good this september but then as i looked off into the distance my whole float boated away Bodie said he was leaving me because he said there was food at the house and i was like dang it i don't like to i might have lost my only ride home but at least i have my birthday present